Hey guys, I uh, get to preview a new um, design by A Stitch For You. It is an elegant Snow White ear uh, set, and this is the first ear. So I'm starting with um, a hooped piece of medium weight tearaway, and I like to float um, two other pieces underneath the hoop. And this will be step one, your placement stitch for your ear. These will fit in a 4x4, four four, but when I'm doing singles, I like the 5x7 because I need the space. Also, if you have a 6x10 hoop, you can fit three in one hooping. spray that with spray adhesive try to keep it in the lines and I like to use this one by Dritz but there's also one called 505 uh, you want a temporary spray adhesive so that it doesn't mess up your needle I'm gonna slide that back on and for this ear we're gonna use a gorgeous yellow geo from uh, my punk embroidery and it's mounted to a piece of yellow acrylic felt. All right, so you're gonna stick that on there. Make sure it's all lined up. And next will be your placement stitch for the yellow and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've done my placement. Now I'm gonna switch threads to a golder tone for some decorative scrolls. And the thread I've chosen tonight is all from Lisa Cord. And we can get you those numbers if you like. And this is step number three. Okay, so to trim my loose thread here, I'm using these little snips or snippers. They are genius. I don't know if you guys have used them. If you haven't, go to Amazon and find some. They are lifesavers. So we're gonna switch threads now to our blue. And tonight, I don't know if you can see the color. It's 3900 Isa cord. And this is going to be the placement for the top half of the ear, which is the blue. Oops. And I am stitching on a Baby Lock Single Needle Flourish 2. So here's step number four. Okay, so for our blue, we are using... A blue hollow vinyl from Glitterbug Fairy. You want to make sure it covers your whole design. And this is the tack down step number five. So I am going to trim um, off my extra vinyl here across the center only because I like the edge after the motif to be blue. It looks more consistent to me. So give me one sec. I'll be right back. Okay, so now this is going to be the motif stitch, step number six.
so now we are going to switch threads again to the red and this is going to be the placement stitch for the gems in her sleeve there we go step number seven Those little stitches out of there. And for our red, we're using a gorgeous kind of holographic red. And we're going to put this on here and tack that down. Okay, so I'm going to trim this. I don't know what you guys use for trimming, but I use these. Ginger duck bill scissors, um, but I do it backwards. So I do it with the super pointy end in there because I feel like it gets closer to the stitches. Um, but you have to be really careful that the super sharp tip doesn't pierce your bottom piece of vinyl. So I'm going to trim this and I'll be right back. All right, so we got that trimmed up. And you can see it's looking gorgeous. Now we're going to do the motif around the red. Same red thread. This is step number nine. Okay, so now we're going to switch threads again. <laughs> back to the blue, which I didn't roll back up. Silly me. And this is going to be the first of your finishing steps for the year. This is the blue motif stitch. Step number 10. But we're going to take the hoop off before we stitch it. Turn this over. I just kind of hook it under the needle guard there for a second. And on the back, we are going to use a stiffened piece of acrylic felt. You can get it at Joann's or Hobby Lobby. No, well, not Hobby Lobby. Joann's or Michael's. Um, you can get it online with Amazon. Um, most places just have black and white. Um, Joann's carries quite a few colors. Um, not nearly as many as I would like them to. <laughs> I'm just trimming these off because they bug me. Okay, so we are going to center this on our design. And basically to get this size, I take a 9 by um, 12, 9 by 11 and whatever it is, um, regular standard piece of um, foam or vinyl, and I... 
cut it in half and then I cut it in half again and you can get four basically four ear pieces out of um, each sheet and to stick this down I use 3M medical tape um, it doesn't gum up your needle if you stitch through it and it holds it just enough to keep it in place but not too sticky to leave a residue so once you have that taped on you're going to carefully slide it back in there without catching it underneath on your hoop or on your machine and this is step number 10 We're going to switch thread for the last two steps back to our um, original yellow. And it is ESA cord number 0600. Is what I chose for our all around color. Thread this guy here. And step number 11 motif stitch around the bottom half of the ear. And our last stitching step is 12, and it's going to close up the um, bottom area where your headband slides through. So here we go. That is the end of the embroidering. So I'm going to unhoop it and tear away the stabilizer and trim it up and I'll be right back. So I've torn away my stabilizer and I'm going to cut these out but I just wanted to give you guys a heads up that when you're doing these it's intended that you don't cut right up to the motif stitch that you leave about this much if you can see that get it by the camera there there we go um, you leave a little edge so that you're not um, cutting right up to those stitches because if you cut them they won't hold your ear together <laughs> and it looks like a big mess um, it just takes practice to keep your stitch your cutting even um, and really nice sharp scissors. If you 
um, are trying to use ones that are too old, they will not cut through all this vinyl and felt. Um, I like these, uh, let's see if I can get it to focus. There we go. These tiny little ginger scissors are my favorite for trimming because I feel like I can get in there close enough. But be careful, they will give you a nice callus on your finger if you use them too often. <laughs> so I'm going to trim this up, you guys, and I'll be right back. And then we'll start the double bow, which is going to be our standard um, flat bow that comes with a lot of the ear sets. And then there are holes added for it so that you can slip a um, clip through it with the small 3D bow. Um, so it basically makes it a double bow. It's super adorable and you're gonna love it. So we will move on to that in just one second. All right, be back. Hey guys, okay, so I've trimmed both my ears. I went ahead and stitched the second one. And I've done my placement stitch in a new hooping for our flat bow. And it's gonna be a navy blue color. So now I just need to do my spray adhesive. And again, it was one hooped piece of tearaway with two floated underneath just for the bow. I'm gonna spray that with my spray adhesive real quick. And then my, here it looks almost black, but it's a, it's a nice navy blue. And this is a rough, there's no coating on this glitter. Um, this is a glitter canvas. And this is again from Mikri World. That's where the pretty red um, holographic speckled vinyl was on the sleeve. So we're just going to line that up and do the tack down. So our tack down is complete. The next step, number five, is going to be the um, stitch for the holes that will slit for the clip. Okay, so it did the holes. Let me see if I can show them to you. Can you see those on there? So, <clears throat> excuse me, our next step is going to be a finishing step. So we're going to turn this over and we're going to add the back just like we did on the ears. And this time it's a blue piece of stiffened felt. We're going to go this direction. Again with the medical tape. And it can be reused. These are the same pieces I used for the ears. Probably three or four times, depending on what you're putting on the back. If it's a regular piece of felt, it sticks a little bit more. Um, but the stiffened felt, it sticks just enough to hold it in place. Alrighty. And I've moved this bow up to the top of the 5x7 hoop so that I can do the red bow down here in just a minute. So this is step number six. So the next two steps are going to be the lines for the headband placement, and then this bow will be done. Okay, so those that bow is done. Next, we're gonna switch our thread over to our red, and we're gonna stitch out the 3D bow, and then we'll have to cut it up. And glue it onto a clip, and then we can assemble this whole thing. All right, so the placement for this is gonna go all three steps. I've joined them together in my Sew so What Pro software because I know that all three pieces are gonna be the same color. And this is the small four inch uh, 3D bow. There's, um, they come as a set, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Well, that one's kind of 
coming out. You can see every now and then it doesn't catch the bobbin thread. But I think it's going to show me enough where it is. That's fine. It's the little itty bitty tiny middle part. The four inches. Teeny tiny. And on top of the flat bow you really could use any size. So I'm going to spray this and I'm going to set my um, vinyl over it. Okay, so we're using the same red, gorgeous, um, speckled hollow from Mikri World. And this is going to be our placement, or our tack down stitch for the 3D bow. Let me get to it, hold on. I cleared my screen by accident. Alright, so that's going to do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, and the last step, step 9, is going to go over that and be a finishing stitch. Okay, I'm going to tear these apart. That's done stitching, and um, I will pause it for a sec while I tear away the stabilizer and get it all ready to assemble the 3D bow. Hey guys, I've cut this out and I wanted to show you. So you take your really sharp scissors and you're going to just feel to make sure you don't go through the backing and you're just going to cut a slit on each one. And then you'll be able to slide your clip through, okay? Okay. So you can see I've cut my three pieces out and I've ribbon lined my clip and now I'm just going to start assembling this bow. So you start with this guy here and you're just going to fold each end in and glue it. Then you're going to glue that to the bottom and then you're going to glue the center around the whole thing. And then just glue it onto your clip. Okay, so I slid it on there and I glued it onto the clip and I've slid it onto my bow. Oops, sorry, that was out of focus. It's so cute. And then I have my ears on and we're done, you guys. I hope that this has helped you out if you've had questions, if you're just starting or if there was something you were unclear about. But these are so versatile and they're so fun to make. You will be super addicted. And they, with these plastic headbands, they fit adults, they fit kids. Look at that. Absolutely adorable. Thanks, guys. Have a great night.